What's good? What's good? I'm back. Yours truly, one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, aka Triple P, aka the Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and much, much more. Today, I'm going to react to a video that basically proves why Joe Biden is the worst president ever. And before I get in that, though, I want to give you a word from promopalace.biz. Looking for music marketing and promotion? Then look no further than Promo Palace LLC, your one-stop shop for all music promotion services. Services include Spotify playlist pitching, YouTube video promotion, record pool promotion, blog placements, radio airplay promotion, SoundCloud promotion, and much more. With over 2,000 customers and over 10 years of experience in online promotion, Promo Palace LLC is a company you can trust. For more info, please go to promopalace.biz. See you there. That's right. You heard a beautiful lady. If you need online market promotions for your music, product, brand, or your service, please go to promopalace.biz. Also, you can email promopalace1 at gmail.com. That's promopalace, the number one, at gmail.com. Let's get into it. This is proof that Joe Biden is clearly the worst president ever. Let's get into it. back with another video now this one right here was another one that was sent to me and uh this one is called send this to your democrat friends look yeah, i have no idea what this. this video is about everybody wanted me to check it out so i'm definitely going to check it out and uh like i said before we get to the video be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i always got to say before we start this shout out to everybody that's been showing love on these videos hitting that like button for me y'all been going crazy Hitting that like button. Thank you so much, man. And uh, let's keep it going. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new because I got more great content to come. All right? So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and uh, dive straight into this. Send this to your Democrat friends. Let's see what this is about. I will tell you this. The president is the best communicator that we have in the White House. <laughs> oh, God. Let me start off with two words. What? Made in America. Okay. <coughs> Hold up. This fool said, I posted this on Facebook yesterday. Nobody caught on it. This fool said, let me start out with two words. Made in America. One, two, three. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> hey, all these truths to be whoa. self-evident. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He said, let, how long now? He said, let's start off with two words, and then he said, made in America. Uh, That's three words, Joe. What the world? He started off quick. <laughs> let me start off with two words. Made in America. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the, go, you know the, you know the thing. More than half the women in my cabinet. Hold up, hold up. All women are created by... You know the thing. Uh, this guy, I mean, this is worse than William McKinley, who was actually a bot, the very first bot president. Do your history. William McKinley, very first bot president. This is far worse than McKinley. More than more than half the people in, in my cabinet. cabinet, more than half the women in, the, in my administration are women. No one's ever wondered what I mean what I say. The question is, I sometimes say all that I mean. I, I guess that old expression, the proof of pudding is in eating. I'm going to hand it over the to proof, uh, Secretary. Hold up. The proof, I guess the expression, the proof in the pudding is in the eating. I haven't heard that one. The proof is in the pudding and the eating. Um, you know what's going on here? He needs to be put in a nursing home, and he's already thinking about that he's going to be eating a shit ton of pudding while he's in there. <laughs> Mr. Secretary, I'm going to have you speak now. I was in the foot, him, uh, foot, foot, excuse me, the foothills of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping. We're going to seize their yachts, their luxury homes, and other ill-begotten gains of Putin's kleptocracy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Kleptocracy, and klep the guys who are the kleptocracy. Oh my God! <laughs> I want to thank the the, the uh, former general. I keep calling him general, but my my uh, the guy who runs that outfit over there. 
<laughs> it ruins uh, the outfit. I want to make sure we thank the secretary. And representatives, uh, uh, Cheryl, Shirley Jackson, uh, Lee, Al Green, uh, Sylvia I, Garcia, uh, Lizzie Pinelli. Uh, uh, didn't he just say Al Green? It's yeah, yes, he did say Al fucking Green. This motherfucker said Al Green. <laughs> I mean, everybody loves Al fucking Green, but I don't think fucking Al Green is even alive to work for you fucking person. Is it anybody named Al Green? I, like, I, no. I know the singer Al Green, but That's he said he's Al about. Green. He like, talking about the singer. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, Pinnell, excuse you. And uh, what am I doing here? Yeah, exactly. What the fuck are you and, doing? Uh, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, thanks to Ron Wyden and Jeff Merkley and, and Earl Bump and Earl. I know. You can call me Bidden. Joe Bidden. <laughs> it is noteworthy that the percentage of women who register to vote and cast a ballot is consistently higher than the percentage of the men who do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. Women. This jackass read, end the quote, repeat the line. You're not supposed to, you're not supposed to say, end the quote, repeat the line. You're supposed to just end the quote and then repeat. The <laughs> Man, my, my six or seven year old nephew is smarter than this motherfucker are not without electoral and or political or or maybe precise not and or or political power running as a proud democrat for the senate if you agree with me go to i'm sorry there's nothing proud about being a fucking democrat these motherfuckers think a man can become a woman and a woman can become a man um there's nothing proud about that shit joe 303 Three O oh, and help me in this fight. Text Joe two three. Excuse me, I got to get this right. Joe two three O oh, three three O. Oh. That's why we were defeated in 2018. You know what's pathetic? These people in the fucking crowd are enabling this shit. They acting like this shit. It, he's like the coolest motherfucker on the planet. Because he can't even pronounce one single fucking word. One word. I mean, this guy, like, can't pronounce one freaking word right. Like, this is awful, man. And, and they literally want to vote this shit in again. If they literally vote this shit in again. Um... Screw all Democrats. I I will literally tell I will literally tell anybody to their face if you're a Democrat, stay the far away from me. I'm swinging on your ass. I'm swinging on every Democrat on the planet. If this stupid fucking moron who can't even fucking say one fucking word, pronounce one word right, is in office again. I mean, if it is, we're fucking doomed. It it that will be the fucking end of America. When they tried to do, we went to 54 states. The way Trump, the way China will respond is when we gather the rest of the world that, in fact, invades in in, free, in 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 open trade and making sure that we're in a position that the world uh, that that we deal with WHO the right way. That that. What the fuck is he saying? What the fuck is this guy saying? Why is this guy still in fucking office? What the fuck is going on in this fucking country, man? And in fact, that's when things began to change. That's when China. That's when uh, China's behavior is going to change. We bring social workers into homes. And wait, wait. Did, did he say that's when China's behavior is going to change? Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here, man! What the fuck are you talking about, man? China's behavior is not going to fucking change because anything. Oh my God. So China's going to suddenly get morals because of something we do. Like, 
this guy in the video is being a little too he's being a little too easy on this shit. I mean, this is bat shit fucking crazy right now. Parents to help them deal with how to raise their children. It's not that they don't want to help. They don't want they don't know quite what to do. Play the radio. Make sure the television, the, excuse me, make wow. sure you have the record player on at night. The, the, the phone, make sure the kids hear words. A kid coming from a very poor school, a, a very poor background, will hear four million words fewer spoken by the time they get there. It's the case where we cannot let. Does anybody know what the fuck he just said? Do you understand one word or what the fuck he just said? <laughs> this we've never allowed any crisis from the civil war straight through to the pandemic of 17 all the way around 16 we have never never let our democracy take second fiddle way that we can both have a democracy and elections and at the same time correct the public health the first frost you know i mean can anybody understand a single fucking word of what he's saying does any of this shit make any fucking sense? You know how much sense it makes? Zero. Zero fucking sense, man. There's no way this guy's running the fucking country, man. He's a, he's the biggest puppet ever. What was happening? You had to put on their windshield wipers to get literally the oil slick off the window. Oh, my God. Now, look, here's the thing right here, y'all. I'm not, look, th this is bad. I'm just no, going to be, yeah. just, no, I'm going to be honest. Bad. This is bad. Now, I'm not going to bash the man. Uh, see, see, like see, that's the problem. That's the problem right there. You don't want to bash him. He's the fucking president of the fucking United States. You got to bash this shit, man. You got to bash this shit. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't feel sorry for this shit. Because this motherfucker should be in a fucking nursing home. Not in a fucking Oval hey, Office. Fumbling over your words, but... Uh, you know, and make fun of them. I'm, I'm not going to be up here to make fun of them. I'm not going to do that. But as far as me just listening and stuff like that, you would think to yourself, like, dang, where do all of the people that voted for Joe Biden, like, where is going through their mind right now? Because I don't know. I don't think a lot of people will feel good about this. They're enabling like, the shit. He trips over a lot of his words. They enabled this shit. I think they had, like, the teleprompter up, and he even tripped over the like tripped over his words reading from a teleprompter and stuff like that. So like it, 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 it's bad. I mean, you just gotta be honest. Like this ain't no hate. This is no hate at all. Like no, this no, is it's not about bad. hate. It's not about it, hate. It really is. Look, look, yeah, let me throw that in. This ain't about hate. This is about this is bad shit fucking crazy. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I'm not gonna bash this shit. No, I'm bashing this shit. Cause this motherfucker shouldn't have been in office in the first fucking place. I'm bashing this shit. It's not about making fun of it either, but I I you can't, I mean, what the fuck? You 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 can't understand anything, this motherfucker. None of this shit makes sense. It, it, it don't matter which way you try to push it. This is bad. I mean, golly, bro. Oh, my God. Like I said, uh, I just wonder what's going through the people's mind that voted for this man. Like, where do they think? Do they? I, I don't. They don't care because to them. Trump is Hitler and the worst fucking president ever, but clearly they're dumber than a fucking bag of bricks. They're fucking morons, man. This guy's not even competent to do the fucking job. He should be in a nursing home, not in the Oval Office, man. This guy's too, he's too nice about this shit, man. This is like, this guy is in charge of running the fucking country. He's not in charge of running a fucking McDonald's, man. He's not. This isn't a guy who's charged of running a fucking McDonald's. He's in charge of running the fucking country. And you want to not be harsh and not bash this shit? No, bash this shit. Think they will like this? Or do you got? Do you think some people will still say, you know what, we can put up with it? They can. But yep. it's like yep. sometimes put he's, up trying with to, it. He, he's trying to read off something. It's like he read off a paper. He'll mess up. Especially when he just tried to freestyle and just say it from his say it from his head and just say he just he can't he freestyle just, just tripping over words. He said woman in cabinet. He he said a lot of things, but at the same time, like I said before, I'm not making fun of this man. I'm not going to bash him. Call him now. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going by the video itself and what I'm I bashing see. it. 
I'm bashing. Like I said, this is bad. I'm bashing. They're just being honest. You're That's why I and so damn many other people I grew up have cancer. So Think there's a it. lot of major. This we've never allowed any crisis from the Civil War straight through to the pandemic of 17, all the way around 16. We have never, never let our democracy take second fiddle. Way that we can both have a democracy and elections, and at the same time correct the public health. The first frost. Okay, you check. Do you notice that he said the same exact thing? that he said in front of somebody else and still fucked it up the same exact way. This is bad. You know what was happening? It had to put on their windshield wipers to get literally the oil slick off the window. What? That's why I and so damn many other people I grew up have cancer. So what there's a it? lot of major things we've oh, done. Oh, he rewound it. I see but what, what we haven't it. done is we haven't been able to communicate it in a way that is... Uh, um, Make me say another way. Well, see, that's kind of perfect. See, and that's another thing that I've noticed too. That like when Joe Biden, when he get into like a, he trying to like like form a sentence or something like that, he'll start off pretty good sometimes, and then it's like he'll he just lose his he whole can't train last of thought. Word. He can't like he'll last forget, word. that man will literally forget what to say like in seconds. I don't know how that like constantly like happens a lot to him, but it, it's I don't know. But I've noticed that a lot. Like he can't like always finish a sentence. Like he'll just start off good and it'll just he'll just lose his whole focus. Like oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. You go ahead. But yeah, well, we haven't been able to communicate. But it. I'm prepared to say that I have a record of over 40 years. 40. And that 40. I'm going to beat 40. Joe Biden. Sorry. Hold on. Go ahead. He said he's gonna beat Joe Biden. That's that's you. I th- are you trying to say Trump? <laughs> to say that I have a record okay. of over 40 years and that I'm going to beat Joe Biden. Sorry. He said he's going to Go beat ahead. Joe Biden. No, no, I probably best I don't. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our. Woo. Oh, my God. I guess I can say no wonder they said show this to your Democrat friends. And, um, like I said, I appreciate, I appreciate everybody watching this. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But at the same time, I got to call it like it is. I got to call it right down the middle. I can't sugarcoat it. I can't sit up here in front, sit up here and fake anything. Like, this was bad. It, it really was. Like, Bad's of understatement. This is awful. This is terrible. This is, it, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. This is, this is some shameful shit, man. This is some shameful shit. We look like the weakest fucking country on the fucking planet right now, man. I mean, if I was Russia or China, I would evade us right now, man. We look so fucking pathetic. I mean, I don't want to hear about Trump or any other president being worse than Biden. Um, I don't want to hear about Reagan, Nixon, none of these motherfuckers. Joe Biden is officially the the least incompetent president ever, which makes him the worst. It's one thing for a president to be bought. Just because the president's bought doesn't mean he's not incompetent. It doesn't mean that he can't speak properly. It just means he's crooked. You know... It doesn't mean that he can't do the job. It just means he refuses to do the job because he's being paid not to do the job, which that ended up backfiring on um, when William McKinley was a, the first bot president. His vice president was my favorite president of all time, Theodore Roosevelt. They ended up backfiring on because the second, the second election, which William McKinley, they got William McKinley because back then, this is the thing you got to realize back then there wasn't just two terms. There wasn't just two terms. Because if I'm not mistaken, Franklin Roosevelt did like three or four terms. Back then, you could do more than two terms. So William McKinley was going to be bought until you couldn't be bought no more. So luckily, a regular civilian just assassinated him because they knew like he was definitely against the people. He was working totally for the billionaires who own all the monopolies 
But I still can't put William McKinley as the worst president over Biden. And he was a bot president. Um, yeah, this is this is awful. This is terrible. If this guy gets voted in again, I will I'm sorry, I can't speak to a fucking Democrat for the rest of my life. Anybody who vote, if anybody votes Biden in for a second term, I can't speak to them ever. And if they get, if they come close to me, I'm gonna have to swing on them. Cause literally, this is some shameful shit, man. This is the weakest our country's ever fucking looked. We look dumber than a bag of bricks. We look like a bunch of fucking morons who can't even complete a fucking sentence and say it. I mean, get the fuck out of here, man. What the fuck is what the fuck is going on in this country? You I can't believe they literally voted shit. You know what's really pathetic? Kamala Harris is even worse of a candidate. She she could actually speak sentences and she would actually be probably shittier of a fucking president than this. Because the only thing she knows how to say is, well, she does. The thing is, is she only knows how to say one thing is how root causes. How do we fi- get to the root causes? That's the only thing Kamala knows how to say, but at least she knows how to say it. At least she knows, knows how to say every single word and and. How do we get to the root causes? But that's the only thing she knows how to say is root causes, root causes. How do we get to the root causes? Um, yeah, this is batshit crazy. This is not cool. This is shameful. We look weak as shit. We look like a bunch of morons. This country looks dumber than a bag of bricks that y'all voted this shit in because I sure as hell didn't vote for this fucking moron. Uh, once again, I'll thank y'all for tuning in. Paul Pickett Podcast, and I'm out.